Well, Community Consulting is the company that I started uh, basically based on the work that I've been doing for the past five years, um, community organizing and political organizing. And uh, I created this company as a way to tie everything together where uh, not only I can get paid, but I can also provide opportunities to other people in the community um, where we get training, we give out training uh, as far as organizing, resources, um, we literally facilitate groups, um, we house information, we um, incubate all type of different things. The mission of our group is actually to improve the lives of black people. I had an experience when Philando Castile was killed by the police um, and I organized a campaign called No Black Dollars. And uh, that campaign specifically was modeled after the uh, Alabama bus boycott, where uh, African Americans felt that the discrimination, the mistreatment uh, was so egregious that they needed to withhold their funds uh, from the ecosystem that's controlled by uh, white America. And so I feel that we as black Americans, as the number one consumer in the United States of America, we actually have power in our buying. Uh, and so I started that campaign and it just kind of gave me some notoriety, um, but it gave me uh, a deeper passion for the needs of the people in impoverished and marginalized communities. Um, which I come from myself. I think that the biggest way that I serve others is um, by being present. I actually occupied this space because I didn't find anybody that occupied it for me. Um, I went to a lot of meetings, I watched a lot of conversations and saw a lot of initiatives and I did not hear my voice um, in the conversation. I did not hear um, the voice of the people that I talk to every day, the people that I know, the people that are hurting um, here in Wisconsin. And so I began to be present in the moment and use my voice um, to advocate for uh, different issues that affect black and brown communities every day. In today's uh, day and age, we can look back at the lessons of Dr. King um, and we need to actually look deeper into the organizer that he was. Um, we need to look deeper into the strategist that he was. Uh, we need to look deeper into uh, the lover of humanity that he was because those are where those tenets of nonviolence were actually formed. I think that, you know, we have to continue to stay nonviolent um, because that's how our voices are heard the loudest. Um, but I think that we have to make sure that we remain vigilant and we remain uh, true to course and true to everything that Martin Luther King Jr. believed.